Mm-hmm. And it's critical that people learn to follow. Um, I just put a post on LinkedIn just like a couple weeks ago when I was walking one day and it just, it dawned on me that, you know, when you go to an institution like the Naval Academy, you get taught followership. And if somebody doesn't get taught the proper way to follow, it's very, very hard to be an effective leader because you don't know how to put yourself in a follower's shoes or you're unwilling to take a follower role Mm -hmm. behind a, you know, somebody who should step up into a leadership role. Now you, you, obviously we used to go fight you know, Tomcats would be controlled by E2s and you'd see the fight developing. And yeah, maybe I'm flying out there as a commanding officer. You know, I'm the senior guy. I've got the senior guy in the back seat. Mm-hmm. But the wingman, brand new nugget, Lieutenant JG, might have a lot more situational awareness than I do. And the bogeys are coming in from his side of the formation. And he goes, uh, you know, tally two, right, t- right, two o'clock, lead right. And he takes the lead. Mm-hmm. And as you, you know, as as a senior person, that person who takes the lead, you're you're you gotta follow them to, to create the you know the effectiveness of the team. So the idea of following and to understand, you know, how to follow then leads into what kind of leadership. And you said it right. The leader, the right, an effective leader has to be willing to be a teammate and has to be willing to put the title aside and be a follower. And in order to do that, you have to learn how to follow first. But I always think. If, if anybody in our world here listening is leading with their title, whether it's mm-hmm. two stars, CEO, manager, grand poobah, you know, mm-hmm. on your door, and you're relying on that title to lead, you're not getting the most out of your team mm-hmm. and they see it. And if you're not authentic and, you know, they're, they're not going to follow you. And, yep. and so there's a lot, a lot to unpack there, I know, but that's kind of the way that I think about it. Yeah, no, look, I can talk to you. Know, I can talk to you. Know, my, you, know, you, 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 you look at your journey through life and your career. When I was in my mid 20s and into my early 30s, you know, uh, you know, I was the rebel without a cause. The rebel without a cause or probably the rebel without a clue. And it got me in more trouble. <laughs> but it was like, you know, hey, look, you know, if you don't want to follow, don't complain about the leader. Yeah, you know, that's, you know, and that's a big thing. I, you know, that's a big thing I see now, you know, it's, it's people, they complain about the leadership, but it's like, Hey, wait a minute, the leadership may be good, but the issue may be, you're not either listening, not willing to follow either. You're not listening to what the leader is saying, or you're not willing to follow and at least get into a, you know, a rhythm, get it, you know, get the boat rowing in the same direction. And that's a big, you know, that, you know, once I figured out, I go, wait a minute, you know, it, it took me a little later in life to stop being the the rebel. And I was like, all right, I get it. And sure enough, it was like a light bulb went off, you know, things, you know, learning how to follow, I think is as much of a skill as learning how to lead. 